My father and I have very different connections to the family business. He built it, I was born to it. But being born to something does not mean you have a talent for it. I found that out in hard way after hard way, when he elevated me to run the family business while he attended the farms. After that debacle, I decided to forge my own path in the wider world and crossed many bridges into many different lands, burning those bridges behind me, sorry to say. Hard times found me, scrounging for paying work in whatever dark corner I could find. During a stint of peeling off low-paying work outside the Tower of Svartalheim's best assassins, I found myself in the employ, perhaps thrall, of an ancient Archfey noble. The places and things I have seen in his company and the things I have done on his behalf, I cannot speak of, for they are truly unspeakable. But as the tide of blood grew higher, so did my station. Now back in Alfheim, I have returned to the family business with power and influence at my back. And the favors we have done for each other have benefited us both greatly. Thanks to my patron, I now find myself the exclusive vintner of the annual Moon Sands Festival gathering. My big chance to make good in the light instead of the darkness. Steady, Casparian. You can do this. It's hard being stone folk in the hardcore under dark of Pelham. Sticking out like a sore thumb, less magical than everyone around you. It's a lowly existence. But in Pelham, there is plenty of upward mobility if you're willing to work for it. I certainly am. I was lucky enough to make my way into the service of the Dark Sundry Vampire Clan. So long as I serve well and stay alive long enough, they have promised to turn me eternal. Or they said that they would after I provided the distraction that let them eat that were-druid village, but they said this time was the real deal. They have set me up as a tent attendant to a high, dark, noble guest at the Moon Sands Festival gathering. With the clan in bat form and safely tucked in a wardrobe crate, I will be able to secret them into the festival where they can covertly sip on a wide variety of already intoxicated immortal blood. After it's done, so long as we don't get caught, my dreams will be coming true. I come from the last of the still living lands of Svartalfheim, where Loss lives in us all. The land itself, my family, most of my pack. I have seen them all die around me. While the land and my family are losses of nature, the loss of my pack was one from evil, and I know evil's faces. The day of the attack, I swore a blood oath to destroy the vampires that ate my second family. We, the wild moon pack of drog were druids. I have been tracking them spying upon them and waiting for my moment. I know of their plans to sample the spirited and immortal blood of the Moon Sands Festival in Alfheim this year. They think themselves so clever. But there, far from their home turf in the underdark caverns of Pelham, drunk on festive blood, and with the rest of my pack waiting in the wings for my signal. This may be our best and only chance to truly avenge our fallen. I will not fail. As my father will tell anyone willing to listen, he was one of the founding members of Moon Sands Gathering and I was born of it. Thanks to his habit of sketching the likeness of his paramours, he was able to find my human mother when I was a young archbay, constantly horrifying her with my antics. After she passed when she was very old, but I was still a young immortal, I found my way to my father in Mangard, where I learned, grew, and learned more of the elven ways. When I was grown, after an illuminating stint studying necromancy at the Morgul Tower, I decided to go my own way, finding a saluted cave in the mountains between the northern oven lands to attend to my own study. It all starts with the spleen. In my estimation, not enough attention is focused on the spleen in the art of necromancy. But these days, the cave walls speak of nothing but spleens. I suspect I need to get out more. 
The walls were particularly loud the day this year's Moon Sands Festival invitation arrived. It felt like a sign. Maybe I can talk to others about their spleen.